Hey guys, what is up? My name is Gabrielle Rojas and I'm also known as Wannabe Parisian. Today I am taking over Au Pair Au Paris' YouTube channel and I wanted to share with you guys my Parisian inspired makeup tutorial. I do have a YouTube and blog dedicated to the Wannabe Parisian lifestyle so if you'd like to see more videos about Parisian fashion, makeup, and beauty, then I will leave those linked down below. But if you want to recreate this look and hear about my experience as an au pair living in France, then just keep on watching. So first things first, I'm starting off with my Embro Lys. I do not know how to pronounce this, guys. But I got this at a French pharmacy, French pharmacy products, number one. This is my biggest recommendation, my favorite product. It's great as a makeup base and just as a moisturizer so I applied some earlier but I've been flying so much that my skin is super dry so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some more so while I let my moisturizer sit I'm just gonna quickly introduce myself again and a little bit of a background story so like I said Gabrielle I'm 22 years old I am from Salt Lake City Utah and I was an au pair in Biarritz, France for the summer of 2019. I spent three months as an au pair and it was an incredible experience. I loved every moment of it. Um, I watched a little boy, he was three years old. His name was also Gabby, so it's so insane that like we had the same names and we got along so well. Um, I loved my host family. My host family was incredible. And I also met a French boy out there, a French man, and love him, love him. Um, we're still together, we're doing long distance. Um, the next two months are our last two months of long distance, um, and then I'm moving back out to Biarritz in May to live with my boyfriend for three months, and then hopefully we'll travel somewhere else after that. And the reason I had a really good experience being an au pair, so with Au Pair Au Paris, I watched every single video before I flew out. And I'm not even joking, I watched every single video. And when I met Francois, my boyfriend, I started watching the dating videos that they had to offer and I was just like studying every video on YouTube and the my favorite videos that I found were Au Pair Au Paris and I just love them. I'm going to be using my La Roche Posay 50 SPF Tinted Moisturizer. Again, French Pharmacy, love this stuff. It's incredible. Um, it's just a shake one, so you just shake it up. I used this every day last summer. It was great because it was just a nice base and it's not too greasy or too oily. It's just right and it doesn't leave that SPF coating that most sunscreens do. We're gonna see throughout this video, I use my hands for my entire makeup. Oh, sorry, first things first. I'm applying lip balm. This one's just uh, lip balm oil, it's nothing special. But I just go ahead and use my hands. If you want a more um, airbrushed look, I recommend the IT Cosmetics foundation brush. That is my favorite foundation brush. I was using um, the what's it called? The sponge, the beauty blenders, but I just haven't been liking them lately and I've been seeing so many things about all the bacteria that those carry, so I kind of been slowly stopped, I've slowly stopped using those. But what's great about this is I only use a little tiny bit, but if you want more coverage you can just add more. I just recommend letting it dry for like one minute and then adding another layer, but my skin is okay. It's okay right now. <laughs> and then for concealer, I'm just using my Glossier concealer and I'm just applying this in my under eyes and like around my nose, just any red areas. I'm really tired, super jet lagged all the time. So so with the agencies I used in to, be, to become an au pair, um, here in Utah, I used an agency called Roma Broad and I will leave both agencies linked down below. I love them, she was super awesome, helped me find a host family. She communicated um, everything that needed to be communicated and she was always there for me even when I was abroad. And then 
she introduced me to the au pair agency that my host family used, which is Au Pair Butterfly. And Au Pair Butterfly, I didn't specifically go through, but I learned about them over the summer and they are also an incredible agency. I love them and I'm so thankful for them because over the summer they had a meetup of all the au pairs in Biarritz or in the Biarritz area. So I met three girls that I became really good friends with from Brazil, Mexico, and Spain. And if it wasn't for Butterfly, Au Pair Butterfly, I wouldn't have met these girls. I would have been alone for most of my summer. I would have just had my boyfriend and the little boy I was watching as my friends. So I'm thankful for Au Pair Butterfly and connecting me with other au pairs. And you can also look at host families on their website and you can um, look at profiles for free. So you don't have to pay anything until you find a host family. But that's just an incredible opportunity too because you don't want to pay and then not find anyone or not find someone in your location and then you have to end up somewhere else and all that crazy stuff. So for highlighter, I'm using my Milk Highlighter. And this is my favorite. It is almost out. Like, I use this to the brim. What else is there to know about being an au pair? Um, yeah, I definitely just recommend doing it. It's something I've always wanted to do, and I'm so happy I did it. I do have a blog and YouTube dedicated to the wannabe Parisian lifestyle. So, I was obsessed with Paris, like, since I was... 12 or 13 years old. I've just always had this desire to go. I don't know why. I can't explain it to you. It's just this weird desire. And then when I did go, I actually bawled. Like, I was crying when I first saw the Eiffel Tower. And then I cried again my last day because I thought I'd never come back or I thought it would be a long time until I came back. So I was just really scared and of what would happen but it's just kind of crazy. I'm so glad I did it and I'm so glad I went for it and I am so thankful for both agencies for guiding me and I'm also thankful for Au Pair Au Paris for preparing me and it was just nice to hear other girls and people's advice that were my age and not part of the agency because the agency, you know, you're just thinking, oh, are they just telling me what I want to hear? But it was nice to hear it from other people my age and people who we're gonna understand what I was going through. Okay, next is eyebrows. Um, I don't fill in my eyebrows. I have really bad eyebrows. I need to get them waxed. I don't, I'm not good with eyebrows. I either pluck them too thin or they're not even or just, they look bad. So I'm using my eye, I'm using my Wow Brow from e.l.f. and this is almost out, but it's only a dollar at Target or online. Pretty sure you can get it online too. But it's just really nice because it just fills them in, puts them in place really quickly. Like, et voila, it's done. I got a lot of questions about when I did a takeover for Au Pair Au Paris's Instagram. I got a lot of questions about my French level. It sucks. My French sucks. Um, je peux comprendre le français? I can understand it, but speaking it it's kind of difficult i just get confused with the changing of the er verbs um because there's so many different changes and just all of that like that's where i get confused um i know like basic sayings i can order je voudrais un verre de vin rouge et une bière s'il vous plaît i would like a glass of red wine and a beer that's what my boyfriend taught me like our first date <laughs> So next, I am going in with the star of the show, the Rouge Caleur, I think it's, yeah, Caleur palette. And it's just a lip and cheek tint palette. So I'll be mixing all these colors to create my face. It's like a painting. It's like we're just finger painting. That's how you, that's how I like to think of doing my makeup. It's just finger painting and it's a lot of fun. It does take some patience um, at first, but once you get the hang of it, it comes to you a lot easier. So I'm gonna be using this color first as my cheek, and then if I want it to be darker, I'm gonna go in with this color next. So I will quickly introduce 
my boyfriend, um, not like him, he's not with me right now, but the, because I keep talking about him. So I met my boyfriend, his name's Francois. I met him two or three weeks after living in France. Um, I was with my host family and we were taking a drink. Um, so we were having a drink at a bar at the lighthouse and it was getting pretty late. So my host mom was like, hey, we're just going to um, get some pizzas next door because there was a pizza place next door to my house. And I was like, yeah, sure, like that sounds great. And she asked like, oh, do you want to come in and see if there's a vegan pizza? Because it's vegan. I was like, yeah, sure. And I walked in and... <whistles> Damn. <laughs> I saw him and it was just like... What? Like, I, I couldn't take my eyes off him and I was trying to be cool and we kept smiling at each other and just like looking at each other but I was like trying to act cool, look around the restaurant I'm like, oh, I'm not like trying to stare at you too hard and then I went and got the pizzas from the restaurant and he spoke to me in English when I went and picked them up because we got them to go he spoke to me in English and I was like, oh my god, bless the day, he speaks English and then we got home and my host mom opened up my pizza and she was like, oh Look at that! And I didn't even see it, but he made a heart out of the tomatoes and then he wrote enjoy on the box on the vegan pizza because he knew mine was vegan. And I was like, oh my gosh, okay, I have to go back. So a few days later I went back and he asked for my number and then we went out every day after that. Um, after our first date, we saw each other like all the time. And it was incredible, just uh, a Nicholas Sparks summer romance. Like, that's the best way I can describe it. <laughs> so, if you guys haven't noticed, I am putting, like, a little bit on my eyes because I like to just add some color. I want it to look like I have blood in my veins and some blush. And I put some on my nose because when you put some on your nose, it kind of creates that, oh, I've just been in the sun all day. So I'm taking that darker color, I talked about that darker pink, um, it's more pink, and just a little tiny bit. I always start off with a little bit because you can always add more, that's the thing. And then for lips, I'm mixing the two other colors on the corner, so this red and then this dark berry red. Oh, don't you just hate when you get like makeup in your nails, because I just got a bunch of concealer in my nails. Do you guys just like ever not do your makeup in such a long time that you forget how to do your makeup? Because that happens to me quite a bit. I just got this palette like a few weeks ago um, before I went to Europe and I forgot what it was like to apply cream blush because during the winter season, especially in Utah, I can't use a lot of cream because my skin's so dry. Um, so I use more powders, but it's starting to be spring again. And then taking that darker berry, I'm just using my other finger. Like I said, guys, it's, it's just finger painting. And I love mixing colors too. Um, and using my fingers for lipsticks because it just looks not so like put together. It just, it's more like, oh, I've just been kissed, but really, you know, I haven't because my boyfriend doesn't, isn't with me. He doesn't live with me or I made him up. <laughs> and then a trick I always do, especially when wearing lipstick, I always just take my finger and you get the lipstick off from the inside of your mouth so it doesn't go on your teeth. I've had that happen so many times. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching my little takeover on Au Pair Au Paris. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to Au Pair Au Paris and watch all of their incredible videos and their tips about being an au pair, living in France, and just everything French and au pair you could think of. <laughs>
but um, like I said, I do have a blog and YouTube channel dedicated to the wannabe Parisian lifestyle. Um, I will leave those linked down below. I have more videos about Parisian hair, Parisian style, Parisian makeup, and um, some videos about being an au pair as well. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my little takeover, and I hope to see you guys in another video soon. Bye!